Hey, it's Jeremy here. I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to create this typographic logo badge uh, just using some typical, simple type tools and some shapes. So we're going to create this. Um, we're going to jump on an on a empty artboard over here. I've already created a box. Um, just It's just a rectangle. Press M for the rectangle tool. Draw out a box and then just color it whatever you want. I'm using these nice green colors. So I've got a background and I've got uh, my icon here um, of my arrows and archery set that I'm going to use in there. And first up, I'm going to go to the ellipse tool. So ellipse tool is on the left. You can press L for that. I'm going to locate the center and just hold option or alt and shift and drag that out to create a stroke. And then I'm going to press X to go in my stroke and I'm going to color that a white. And then holding shift and just clicking up here, you can just bump that up just like that. It's pretty cool bit too thick. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this circle, press Control C and Control F to make a duplicate. And then I can just drag that in like that. And then I'm just going to bring the stroke down. And what I'm going to do is go into my type tool over the head of the left. And then I'm going to right click and you can see if I can go type on path. So I'm going to click that and click on the that circle stroke. And you can see now the type has just gone on that path. So what I'll do, I'll just Backspace all that and make it bigger. And then I'm just going to make up some words. We'll just use free font. I'll use monster rat. Yep, cool. And I'm just going to bump up, bump that down a bit. And then I'll make the kerning a bit wider. I'll change that, the color there. So you can see that we're already starting to get that nice shape there. Then what I'll do, I'll create a copy of the type. So Control C, Control F to copy and paste it on front. And then I'll just make it smaller like this. Then I can use a hometown. So usually you, you want to have your main text at the top and then, you know, you can put like a location or when it's established or just extra details that you think that would benefit the, the badge or the logo. So I've got those two type there. I can bring it up and even make this smaller and then just increase the kerning a little bit just to give it a bit more breathing space so it's not conflicting too much with the other type. And then I'll just do that. And then I'm going to bring my icon into here. Holding shift should be already centered. Uh, a way I can center it as well is if I select it and then click, hold shift, click on the circle. So I've got these two selected, then left click once again on the circle and then I can click these two buttons. So you can see it just went down a bit to center it. So I've got our arrows there. And what we're going to do next is we're going to do this bottom type. So once again, Control C, Control F on this type here, and then I'm just going to hold Shift, drag that out, make that smaller. And then I'm going to just drag this. If you select it, you can drag this inside, so it will go inside the circle. So we've got high quality gear there. And obviously, if there's a lot of words, then it's going to be too long. So you can adjust that. I'm just going to move this. Yeah, it's pretty even. Cool. And then to do this like little ribbon, I'm just going to make a box. So M for the rectangle tool. I'll make a copy and drag it down like this. And for this, I'm going to go to the edge here and press P for the pen tool and just make a point. And I'll just drag that in like that. I'm just going to use the reflect tool to make a copy of that. And the reflect tool is O. So you can use the reflect tool, pressing O and 
I just reflected that and now I've got that ribbon there and I'm gonna make it a stroke so I'm just holding shift X to make it a stroke super cool and then we can put I can put like the ultimate and usually I like rounding off these strokes so I'll quickly round those off go to the stroke so we've got that ribbon there and what we can do now is if we select this go to object envelope distort and go make with warp we can see that there and then what I'm gonna do is gonna bend it a bit so you can go heaps but it's gonna distort the type as you can see there so we'll just do a little bit we'll bend it a little bit 23% and then I'm gonna make it smaller drag it down and then bring it into here and you can see how the le the stroke is scaling there but that's okay and then I'm gonna make sure it's centered so we've got that ribbon there and it's going on a curve so it's sort of going with the the circle and then what I'll do is put, you know, it's established 19. So you can put it here. And then I'll make a copy. And I'm just using my eyes to roughly estimate spacing here. So it looks pretty even. And there you have it. There you got your typographic badge. Um, we can add some more details or even change the colors. So if we want to mess around with the color here you, know, you can play around with that thanks so much for watching this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment below and let me know if you liked it or if you want to see something new and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see some fresh new design content every week